Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mark Harris, and welcome back to Astroneer. I have no idea what we were doing in the previous episode, and I can't even remember the controls anymore. It's been about a week or so since I last played. Very windy. Should be good for, yep, for our power on that thing. Alright, so what we need to work on is... We first need to open this and see what our bites are. And I believe we can now build... One. We can now get a large shuttle, which we've been trying to get, if I recall. So we can now get, we can now build a large shuttle if we need one. And then we didn't really need much else. I can get the enclosed three seat, but we don't need a free seater. Um, we already got the large storage available to us. There's nothing in here we want. There's not really anything in here we want. And we're working on... In here we're only working on getting fireworks, right? We don't really care for dynamite. And fireworks... 3,000 points, we have fireworks if we need them, so when we get to the end of the, when we get to the end of the series, we will launch some fireworks. That is still trying to produce, but uh, it's too apparently too windy to wait, why is it too windy? Oh, it's because there's not enough wind. Not that it's too windy. Okay. So I want to go to this thing and see if I can build a large shuttle. We need... Actually, we all we need is two compound to finish that. And I believe, based on what we had before, I believe it was set to... Did you just throw those away? It just threw those away. Anyway, we wanted the large shuttle, which is going to take another two. Oh, we don't have power. We have four aluminium. I don't know why they put all four pieces of aluminium on there. But there we go. No, I didn't want to change that. Click off. Put that over there. I know I need to bring some more aluminium and stuff back. We can't actually do anything without power, so we want to go get our power generator back from the other planet, don't we? Because, uh, well, not a power generator, our battery, so we can store power when we need it. It'll also have a lot of power with it, which will allow us to... Let's just create enough one of these back on home base. And... No, we can build it here. Why not? It goes out of there, and that's not using any power. And then maybe I can use this. There we go, and it will start on the large shuttle. Now we have to wait for that, so we're gonna, we go completely wait. We don't actually need any more research materials either, so that's another thing. We no longer need research materials because we. Oh, also, I'm back at base. Last episode, I got I was out out and about on the actual planet's surface, looking for stuff. But we don't need the stuff anymore, and we're about to get a much bigger spaceship than we had previously, than this one rather. And. Uh, yeah, we, we're going to put some storage on it if we can, on the back or something. Um, we need to fuel it up, so we need to go get some fuel to bring back with us. So, let's go here. Actually, I've just realized these are two full tanks of fuel. <laughs> I could just leave them here. Two full tanks of fuel that can be left here. 
Okay, so I need to refuel everything, really. But while we wait for that to build our other ship, we're gonna head back. To our other planet. It might take us a while, so it's good that we're, uh, going while we need to. Quite a few planets in line there. Now, Tundra is coming into line with quite a... No, are they running out of line? I believe... Is it the orange one that, that circles around the quickest? Where's the planet? Oh, they're coming into our... They're coming around to us, not the other way around. The orange one moves the quickest. That's going to be the furthest away, though, isn't it? Arid. Will it move into this thing quicker? When I got a small amount of time to decide. We'll wait for the planet. I know, I know it's supposed. I know it's probably going to get around quicker, but it's very close right now to it. We could try to get to the exotic and try to bounce off that. It's already coming close into where we are. I'm going to let it go around for a second. We might still be able to bounce off exotic. Depending on whether the field of gravity is actually taken into account, in which case exotic would have a very small circle. That we wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Luckily we don't use floor, fuel while we're floating. Nah, it's coming in. It's, it's coming into range. That won't get round by the time that comes into range. It's very close now. That's on, it's almost on the other side of the uh, thing. Well, we could bounce off the moon. <laughs> Baron's right there. And here comes Terra. Is, it, is that what it's called? I forgot what it was called. Terran. Terran. It's a tyrannical thing. <laughs> okay, so we need a lot of fuel because we need to bring some back with us as well. Uh, I will hopefully be able to put some in my backpack. We also need some aluminium. Uh, we've been needing a lot of aluminium lately. Uh, but we also need compound, I think. There's our home base. Again, it always sounds like I'm talking about... Oh man, what a place! I remember this place! Okay, so I need to carry some of the hydrazine with me. And we're gonna need to fill up a lot of tanks of them. Canisters, whatever. that we really need to take this with us actually to the other planet this would allow us to fuel up much quicker because this one here has more power this one here has more power set to it so it can actually give us fuel a lot quicker than the other one that can there we go we got some hydrazine and they've actually piled more in for us First things first, I'm going to build this up with hydrazine. There we go. Might as well leave that in there. As you know, might as well get a full tank and increase it. What I'll do over here instead, I'll place the unfinished one and set that to go. We're going to need to take this battery with us, aren't we? So I need to actually carry the hydrazine on me from the spare ones so that we can take the battery with us. Because that's going to be like the most important thing because we want to get everything finished quickly. 
So we need a battery that's big. Take that with us and we can use that. Another thing I want to try and take with us is... Should I take the wind thing with us? I don't know. But we don't have enough canisters unfilled to satisfy this thing. So, what do we create canisters out of? Also, we take... Fireworks are created out of coal. We need to get some coal. What do you mean yield zero coal? You're serious? Fine. Now with this, we need uh, we need more material, don't we? Because we need laterite, so we need a lot of material in there. Do I have some aluminium on me? No. We also need to bring some compound with us. We do need to bring these. We're gonna bring two. Actually, I do have some spare aluminium from the other thing, but I think I still need two pieces more. Uh, sorry, I was trying to figure out what I needed for a canister. Resin, right, okay. Where's my resin? Do I have any resin? I have some more compound around here. I have a lot of compound. That's hydrazine. I want to keep that. Okay, I need some resin. This is back with my coal to make fireworks with. that there. Let's find some resin. Where did I have resin before? I'm gonna be up here. This is where I'm getting my material for my uh other stuff. There might be some resin through here, though. Let's tether it up. Nope. Wait, am I full? I'm full. Why am I doing this? I haven't just deposited all this. Oh, I have resin right here. That's oh, organic. I always mix them up for some reason. Can only make one right now, but. Why not? Let's see if I can find any resin around. So with this series, I'm either going to try and get to getting to fireworks, which is uh, gonna be right after, uh, we're gonna be using the fireworks right after we've, uh, gone around in our giant rocket to all the planets, uh, actually explored them and all that, we're gonna use our rockets back when we get back home. And then that'll be the finale, unless we hit episode 20. So that's one of the things I wanna do. It's either gonna be tw episode 20 or when we finally fire those fireworks. Which, I already have the fireworks, so I could just send them off when we get to the end of wherever we need to get, when we've got everything that we need. Nope, this is not where I want to go. No resin over here. 
I'm gonna run, run alongside everything for now so I can see if there's any out here. Surprising lack of resin despite the fact that we should be able to find it everywhere. Hmm. Also, this machine should be done with the uh, laterite. See if I can find some out this way. Ah, there it is. It's a nice big patch of it here. This also grabs dirt as well, so that's good. We'll get what we can and drop the rest. No power. We got what we could. But that's good. We got enough resin to create um, a canister so we can get better fuel, a uh, higher amount of fuel. Uh, put the resin over here. I only actually need one of them to create a canister, but just in case I need more, I'm gonna keep a spare. And that goes in there. And then we activate that. We got our compound, we got our hydrazine, we're waiting on our aluminium. We got a battery. We actually do have a piece of aluminium right here. Oh, I just realized. We're not gonna have space for everything, are we? Well, we'd always come back for more. And that's in case of both things, really. Pack the hydrazine in here. And what I can do, actually, is take off one of the canisters and put a hydrazine canister on there. We gotta spare one for when we come back. Uh, cause we'll empty one of them anyway, so it's fine. So we got a hydrazine, we got a little bit of aluminium, we got some compound. We need to come back for the next piece of aluminium, but we should be able to get that. Hydrazine should be easy to come by, and we will be in our bigger spaceship, so maybe we'll have a lot more space for our hydrazine. Okay, enter. Let's head back out into space. Let's go see if they built our ship yet. <laughs> if not, we've got a nice big battery full of power for them to use. It's actually almost full. I think it was just draining as we as we picked it up. It was a good timing on that. Now we have to wait for the planets to hop us across again. That's all the way on the other side. It's best to go across to Arid first. Yeah, Tundra's a bit far away. But this planet gets around very quick. This would be a great planet to land on as well, because we got... I don't know. It might be. I don't know what all these planets have. So the only one we got to get to is Tundra, which is all the way over there. And it'll take a while for the main planet to get across to it. But this one moves so much faster. So does that one, but I don't think it has as much of reach as this one. I don't think it can reach uh, Tundra. So we're just going to watch, watch the stars go by. I don't really do anything on this. It would be nice if there was a little thing you can do. Because we're just waiting for the planets to align correctly at this point. I can check the time. We're 20 minutes into the video. That's not too bad. And I'm already running out of things to do. <laughs> we may not make it to episode 20 at this point. Because we're already getting the bigger spaceship and getting from planet to planet. Isn't that difficult, considering how, how quickly we seem to be able to make hydrazine? Especially since this ice planet creates ammonium, which is used to create hydrazine, and we got a, 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 a ammonium 
factory that can turn that into hydrazine already. So we're already good on that front. Yeah, but I could do with bringing the ammonium factory across to this planet and then uh, swapping swapping it with the um, the the fuel one on there, change, swapping them over, basically. See, that's come back into focus again, but I doubt it even went close to this one because this only just gets into its range, I'm sure, I think. And the green one always goes this side of the planet. So it's, it's a bit too far away. So we're almost there! We just have to break its barrier and we can... We can orbit. We can get over there. Tundra! That's the quickest way across, it seems, for Tundra. And the great thing is we've already explored Tundra, which means uh, we've got a lot less worry to do with planets and where we're going to explore. Hey, and that's the perfect place for us to land. Nice. Let's hope the uh, ship is built. That'd be great. Oh, it is. It is definitely built. That is a big ship. I should it's very hard to grab those canisters here comes the storm right on time right when we're trying to do something I hate it when the storm does that and I believe it cuts off all the power doesn't it or no it doesn't seem to I don't know I've just been bad time. I just not had any wind at that point. I also haven't attached that into the power yet, so we're not getting a huge amount of power that we need. Oh, that's a plant. Whoa! What just moved us? going right over top of us. It's crazy. So much power in that storm. That's all I can talk about. There's no quick way to get through the sea, but just wait out the storm. And every time one gets close to the camera, a camera moves. <laughs> it's very odd. Okay, looks like it's past us. We seem to be fine. There it is, it's going off into the distance. We're all good. This thing looks like it can take a lot of fuel. There we go. But before I work on that... So we got an enclosed one seat, which is going to take up that one corner <laughs> out of everything. But what we want is the extra are you kidding me? What is the point of this if it can't actually be used? It's extra large storage. What's the point of it if it can't be used? All it does is take up the whole thing and then you can't fly it because you can't get in. What's the point? It, it can't be used. So that's disappointing, <laughs> but a, bi a bigger ship is not, so I'm going to get the enclosed one seat, which costs two aluminium. I forgot about that. 
I can't just transfer the other one either. I can. Why is it that way around? That's just weird. Anyway. I get that to put the large storage on that side. And we have no power again, do we? Or something. Can I just not place that on? We have all the compound needed. Oh, we have two out of four. What am I talking about? I need to bring more than that? Ah. Well, we're gonna use this ship anyway to fly, so... Take these spare canisters. I think about it. If I can grab that and put that one on this side. Can I put it? Yeah, that looks much better. Thank you, medium battery. You helped me without even using power. Okay. So we kind of want to use the main. Ah, screw it. I'll put the battery on. We'll worry about it later. Let me just grab this aluminium. Battery on there. What else is using power here? Because before I put the hydrogen thing in, nothing seemed to be using power. I'll be bringing the battery back with me as well. full of hydrazine. Yep, that's how you fill it full of hydrazine. Drop it on the floor. I'm not sure if the container is twice as big or multiple times as big, but I think we can actually travel to every single planet with this on its own. So I don't need aluminium at all. Now I think about it. It's just compound to build that uh, storage thing. Which will go there. Which will double up all the storage and allow us to bring research stuff back if we need to. Not that we need to. Yeah, that's not smart. Although we're moving this power thing in a minute because it's not actually... What else is using power? I don't think anything else is using power. That's about to run out. There's a lot for that. And it's using that as well, which is weird. That is empty. I can go there. I'll put the uh, storage on there when we get another set of compound. And yeah, we're pretty much... There isn't really that much left to do. on there. Grab that and put that in. Uh, okay, that's not working. So, yeah, what I think I should do is I should take that back to the other base and then swap them with the ammonium one. Because this is an, an ammonium planet. So, it's going to rely on that a hell, hell of a lot more than the one I'm currently on. Also, I no longer need this and it's got fuel left over. I will want to bring that titanium with me. Oh, I had resin up here already. 
Lithium and copper. Well, since I haven't got much space in my inventory, I need to at least put some of these canisters up here. I'm going to put one on the side. It's because I only really need one side of it to fuel up with. Ah, uh, there's another canister. And I'm going to grab all these materials I just dropped. This titanium can be sold, resin can be used to make more containers, coppers can be made to use cars and other such vehicles, and lithium is good for batteries which we have got a battery we've got to recover power from. That does not generate enough power. I need to get more better stuff. More and better stuff. Well, might as well waste the power on this. While I wait to fill up my ship. Go this way. That is a gap in the planet. Gonna go on a little adventure. I can still see my base, yeah. Not very many hills, that's a good thing. Yeah, there isn't much here. At all, really. More ammonium! Which honestly I could do with. I have enough room to stay in space for a little bit. Oh, I still power for my car to do this. There's nowhere to place another one unless I drop something. Why does it not read the same way as everything else? Goddamn storm. Oh, the storm's going over the base. We're just on the outskirts. Messing with everything now, that's the problem. That's titanium. I can't dig up the titanium. 
Interesting, but I can't dig up the titanium. That means the car is already full on fuel. God damn it. So that stuff is titanium. So on here is titanium and ammonium. Interesting. It's probably the most valuable planet in this game. I treated like a joke. Yay! <laughs> Cash this before it fully. Nope, the game has other ideas. I'm actually going to. Oh, I can't. Give me a moment. I'm going to attach it onto here and turn it back on again. Oh, well, now it works perfectly. It only not work on the car? Is that the? Is that the point of it? It only screws up on the car. This car is not going to be usable anymore anyway, so that's fine. Have you yet to fill it? I have a full inventory anyway. I, I can't hold any more canisters. Oh, there's aluminium there. Let's go into space! This one shouldn't take as much fuel as the last one did. I mean, it's got a bigger tank, Robert. Can you believe it? We were just close enough. <laughs> so, we're gonna land here. Uh, if I can see the planet. I'll find our home base. And then we will, um... Well, we're gonna... Oh, I meant to take the, the hydrazine thing with me. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. As long as I bring it with me to the planet I gotta get to. It should be fine. I just have to find our base. Why can I not see it? it? Were we really on the opposite side when that happened? But we timed that so well. Got it though. Will it land in front of the thing or would it create its own section to land in? No, it landed in front of the thing. So I could use this one to build on it. Now that I think about it, I don't even have to go that other one. I just can't believe the gigantic, the biggest storage we've got doesn't work. Doesn't. The biggest storage we've got doesn't fit. Have I got one in there already? Okay. Large storage. We just need compound for that. And I believe I saw some compound before. This, this character just wanted to plop it everywhere. We're going to have that doing the f fuel condensing for a while. It's not going to take as long as the other base. We have a lot better sources of power here. Place the medium battery on there for now. You know what? I'm just going to pull these canisters in my inventory. So we'll use them for one thing or another.
But I'm gonna take the am ammonium thing with me. There's some hydrazine for you. This tank's a lot bigger, so we're gonna we're gonna need a lot more hydrazine. But that'll give me more time to get. Uh... What am I after, actually? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the compound. There you go, and now we'll keep picking up where it left off. And I'm gonna put the other canister. No, I'm actually gonna hold on to the other canisters. For a dirt collection, so I can create more of whatever material I need. Which at this point is going to be compound. I've got enough for another battery, actually. I have a big battery. Yeah. So let's do that. Are you serious? Hold on to that one, and hold on to that one, and let's make another big battery. So we can take it across the other base, although it probably won't need it. Um, not what I intended to do. Oh, it's because I couldn't put anything on it. I was going to print that battery. Uh, I also kind of want to get some more solar panels and uh, wind turbines. Maybe put them on the other base to make it go faster. Who knows? So there's another battery. If we uh, need it, I'm going to put it there for now. So they'll start, they'll both start charging up, I'm, I'm betting, at some point. Oh, there's some compound. Oh cool, that did one. The empty canister there. Am I still recording this? Oh my god, I should have finished. Yes, I should have finished when we got back. Uh, we will continue doing this. We will con... Well, I guess next time we'll probably be exploring space once uh, we have everything because we're going to get everything fairly quickly with what we got. So I'm going to go back into our base station. And thanks everyone so much for watching. But for now, we're done here. See ya. Gotta end this one quick. Gotta end this one quick.